All right, so over this past week, I have been playing a lot of fighter after the recent buffs with weapon mastery, no longer granting a minus 10% physical damage debuff and Swift now going from a 20% to a 30% uh, move speed penalty reduction on plate armor. Fighter feels so broken, especially with the weapon mastery changes. You're literally just a better ranger. You can destroy barbarians because barbs can't get close to you. And if they do get close to you, you can pull out a Bardiche or Morningstar, literally any weapon you want and fight them in melee. Feels super strong. What I'm running is full plate, pretty much minus the boot and the uh, gloves. Most of this video, I'm running a, uh, I'm running a Kyrus, not a Dark Plate. This is just an experimental build. I'm just trying to figure it out because the one weakness it does have is Wizards and Warlocks and maybe even Clerics with Smite, even though you can kind of space Clerics out pretty well where they can't hit you. But Magic Damage. Magic Damage, your Magic Damage reduction normally is pretty bad. So with this build, at least you get 16%, but you do lose some Physical Damage reduction. Also, Rogues can still destroy you because they have a ton of armor pen and uh, they are still super annoying. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, starting off this video, I got my first fighter fight in a while i haven't really played fighter 2 too much but with this new update with weapon mastery not giving any physical damage debuff and swift granting an extra 10 percent movement speed with plate armor it's uh pretty broken you can tell i'm a little rusty with this travel bow but this ends up being like the longest fight i've ever been in i cut out quite a bit because it's just a lot of me running around killing mobs because this guy just would not fight me straight up right here I kind of catch up to him but then he jumps on this box and I, I end up just whiffing my, my shots he just decides to run again pops a second win for some reason I don't even think he was that low and uh, he just keeps running just keeps running at this point I realize I need to start closing the doors behind me because he's just gonna keep hitting them is really annoying so if you're in a chase someone they kind of keep going in the same area close the doors behind them it'll it actually ends up uh, f them over later a little bit so here i completely lose him i i don't know where he went so i look for him for a bit and i eventually find him again i don't know how he was like right behind me but he was i just missed him i walked around this room for like maybe a minute yeah here you can see the doors are closed so it's slowing him down if i left those open he would have been long gone already like right here i kind of catch up to him a little bit like we're, we're very close now now, you know, I, I don't close this door because I want to catch up to him. I do, but I whiff. I, I completely whiff. I would have slowed him and I would have gotten a couple hits off. I think I hit him here. But, uh, yeah, he just keeps running. He's doing this weird loop around these goblins. And it actually ends up working out pretty well in his favor because the goblins end up cock blocking me. And then right here, the classic dark and darker goblin aggro just changes. And they completely block me from going up the stairs. And I end up clearing out this entire bottom area. It takes like two minutes. And then I think he's gone. And then I hear him in here and he pops an invis. And he tries to catch me off guard. See, that's what I mean. Like, he could have just ran if he really wanted to. Makes the mistake of trying to close the door. And I get on top of him. Absolutely pelt him when the morning star hits. He pops second wind. I guess he campfired. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I, I end up getting like destroyed by mobs here. Can't chase him. I thought he'd get away. But luckily, he just turns around to try and fight because he thinks I'm low and honestly he kind of works me a little bit here takes a bunch of hits still alive somehow I guess I'm hitting him in the legs and the arms because of the long sword trying to avoid that parry hold the bow bait him out and then yeah he fights over yeah that's pretty how he lives so long holy shit that was the longest fight ever and luckily he had some uh, nice upgrades for me it's a brave hunter it's a nice purple curious that I'll be wearing he also had some good riveteds I think he had a good cloak good chapel a uh, really good necklace of peace, and for some reason a gray longsword. I don't know if the longsword is just OP that you only need a gray one, but it's happened a couple times where I'll fight like a geared player, but they just have a gray longsword. Kind of wild. Uh, good shoes, nice shoes with move speed bonus, and uh, yeah. Alright, here we got the perfect example of why I think Fighter is just the better Barbarian right now. Barb has no range. Barb's got no range. Fighter is literally just a ranger. You can use a bow better than a ranger actually because you have more physical damage bonus rangers have no default strength fighters have 15. so a default kit ranger versus a default kit fighter it's if each one hits all their shots the fighter is probably going to win now obviously rangers have abilities but that's not the point the point is my survival bow hurts more than a ranger survival bow and against a barbarian Barbarians have to close the gap, and if they can't close the gap, because you're pelting them with arrows, they're not going to be able to fight you. Because barbs have no range. They have axes, but you can only have three in an inventory slot, and it really doesn't do much. 
So this guy, I'm just keeping my distance because I know his goal, he has Achilles. He wants to hit me and then just start destroying me. But even if it gets into melee range, I'm also a fighter and fighters are in this game. They are very good in melee. They have great melee. And now with weapon mastery, I have a morning star with no damage reduction. And the morning star is great. It has 20, uh, 20 or 15% armor pen, which is just crazy. So even if this guy does close the gap, he's already low from all the arrows I've hit. And I have a morning star and a so buckler. Great. Like, it'd be still an even fight in melee. So I close a gap here. I see that he has blood exchange, so I kind of want to back up here, stop moving so he doesn't get health. Uh, duck his bardiche, hit him there, pop second wind. I know he's probably going to be pretty close to full because he probably healed quite a bit off my Achilles. And uh, here I'm just keeping the distance. I'm not going too far away so he can run, but I'm staying just far enough to where he can't hit me and I can hit him with the survival bow. Turn around, I hear he put his, puts his weapon away, so I turn around, hit him a couple times, and I hit him twice, and he doesn't hit me once, so it's a good trade. Hits me here because I get a little too close. Hit him again. I know he's just hurting. Uh, it's just poke, poke, poke with barbs. And honestly, anyone other than wizards and warlocks you're going to want to be doing this with. It's just the best way to do. Whittle them down with range and then go in for the kill when you can. I was so... I love... Uh, bro, fighter is so versatile. I, well, that was clean. Also, his gear isn't too good. But he does have a purple bardiche, which I will use. And I think I take his uh, adventure cloak as well. I do think the game could use a little bit more skill expression. I do like... The ranged. I feel like the range feels good. I like how as I'm talking about skill expression, I get jumped by the least skilled thing in the entire game. Rogue is so cringe, man. Yo, relax, bro. Oh, they're fighting. Yeah, no, don't worry about me. I'm chilling. Oh. I deserve that kill. Bro, no, you're so fucking cringe. Cringe weirdos, bro. They're in the corner and he's pointing. He's like, yeah, let's team up on him, dude. We gotta team up, bro. I can't do it alone. Please. Like, bro. Man, this whole lobby is just barbarians. Come up here, bro. I mean, if he just runs at me, I'm just gonna shoot him. I don't think this guy's very geared. Bardiche first, Bardiche. Yep. Look at these teaming pussies. Look at you teaming pussies, bro. What is this? Gotcha, I want to fight that barbarian. He's just running from me. Oh, I thought you were teaming. Oh, I'm stealing all your loot, though. Yeah, that's kind of cringe. It's alright. Probably didn't have anything. He's actually got some pieces yet. Yeah, both of them ran away. I don't know. They just started chasing each other and I couldn't find them. Oh, he actually did have some decent shit. All right, so right here, this ranger gets a little too overconfident. He's a little too close. I realize that I'm not going to beat him in the range fight. He's hitting more shots than me, and his shots Ow, are doing more damage. I so I just pull out the Bardiche and just run him down. Well, I guess I pull out my fist and then pull out the Bardiche. And he lets me get too close. Uh, Yeah, it's just over. But then... Yep. No, not yup. Bird partying pussy. <clears throat> really? Really, bro? Really? Come on. I mean... <clears throat> oh, is he alive? Hello? Hello, this build is shit! What? What? How is he alive? About the last thing we want to be fighting. Can't lie. Okay, so this build is clearly very weak to dam uh, magic damage because you're full plate, full curious, no magic resist, maybe even negative magic resist if you build it a certain way. And wizards are your worst nightmare. You kind of have to hope the wizard sucks and doesn't hit his spells. Because if that guy hit a couple ice bolts and one more fireball, I would be dead already. It's actually like impossible for me 
So for the wizard, I think the move is we take the ears off. I need to close that gap. It's my MS. 100? Okay. We can catch up to him. Yep. There we go. You have to take the shirt off. If you're fighting a wizard in this build, don't worry about taking your shirt off because it gives you zero magic resist. It actually makes you weird to think about, but taking your Kyrus off while fighting a wizard the, makes you tankier. The more clothes you take off with this build, pretty much the tankier it makes you, at least with these two pieces. And uh, he had some okay stuff. I mean, Cobalt Trousers probably sell for quite a bit because of how the 3.5 is right now. I haven't actually checked. Man, that scared the shit out of me. There's no way this guy's teabagging. Like, no way I'm... Like, no way, like, you try to landmine me and then you teabag. Like, I'm gonna team with you. <laughs> There's no chance. Oh, no. Ditch cleric? Isn't that the guy who's cheating? Ditch bard? A ditch guy? Was he, was he not banned for cheating? Ranger runs. Oh. Uh. Oh, these are good. Okay. Alright, we got another fighter versus barbarian, which is honestly becoming my favorite matchup on the fighter. Because, I mean, you're building PDR, you know, I'm full plate, as Swift is buffed, and Barbarians only do physical damage, so, you know, unless they're running Reckless Attack and they get on top of you, they can't really do anything, and even if they are running Reckless Attack, they can't really get on top of you because you just have range as well. It is, honestly, I think this build, plus Rogue and just other things being, and even Ranger, are making Barbarians so obsolete right now. I... Uh, Barbarian was pretty good, but I think just slowly slowly it's getting like phased out even though the Bardiche was buffed so in theory the And the double axe in theory Barbarian got stronger But it doesn't matter how much damage a Barbarian can do with the double axe of the Bardiche because they just can't really get on top of anybody And even if they do get on top of a PDR fighter, it's still a PDR fighter So unless they're running reckless attack it just really doesn't feel like they can do much I, I would say Barbarian is one of the weaker classes in the game right now just because of certain things even though they technically just got a buff and they're weaker because the buff also affected fighter because fighters can use double axes not as well because they don't have axe mastery but they can use bardiches just as well it, it, it's kind of it's a tough spot for barb right now i think the only viable barbarian build build is full move speed like full copper light max move speed felling axe achilles strike type of thing or bardiche achilles strike i think and, and you kind of have to just focus rangers and stuff. It, it's kind of tough. But yeah, this guy... I don't even think he hits me once. He hits me once, I lied. Yep. Yeah, he had some pretty good shit too. So, G, good, fight. good fight. GG's, bro. Dex rings. War mall with two additional. Lace turn shoes with move speed bonus. Those are better. Those are an upgrade. Nice. Okay, so something I've noticed is when two fighters fight in this new patch... They kind of default to the ranged, like, melting people down, getting them low before fighting. And when two fighters fight, kind of like in the first clip you saw, these fights last forever when they're both using bows. This one might even be longer than the clip I showed you at the beginning of the video. It's just constant. I, I do cut it up quite a bit and it still ends up being pretty long. It is just constant hiding behind pillars and doing little pot shots with their bows. And honestly... It's super fun. I love it. it, it they, the fights do last a little too long, I think. Let us die in glorious battle, friend. And it definitely ups the risk of third party. But, like, here, me and this guy are just trading shots with the bow. And I know if we keep trading shots with the bow, I'll eventually win because he's got less gear than me. I also have a recurve bow. He's not hitting as many shots as I am with the recurve, so I'm just going to do more damage. I try to close the gap a couple of times, but he's really good at keeping his space and not letting me in. He even gets a couple like really good weaved in melees where I have my bow out or I have my fists out and I can't counter. So good on him for that. Like he definitely was really good. And but yeah, we, we just like ran around the entire map. Uh, we were in this middle room for probably three, four minutes. I cut quite a bit of it out 
but a lot of it was, you know, healing behind pillars and stuff. Here, I kind of pelt him he's a couple hurting. times, and I know he's really low. Like, I know he's got to be hurting. Recurve bow hits like a truck, honestly, with his armor pen, and this guy doesn't really have much armor on already, so I know he's hurting. Uh, he's going to have to back up and heal here, or do something, or run away, or, I don't know, figure something out, or else it's just going to end. But uh, he decides to run, I think. Yeah, he's, again, like, I won't be able to catch him. Obviously, if he runs, if he wants to run, he can run. I won't be able to catch up to him. I'll have to take my uh, armor off, and I don't really want to do that. Here, I catch him in here, and I get way too overconfident. He just absolutely pelts me with the survival bow, and I actually get pretty low. So I have to run away and heal. And then he gets a little overconfident and uh, decides to push me. Because he left, all right. What'd you do, bro? All right, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And yeah, have a great day.